I'm Seth from Land the House. This is a ram pump. It allows you to pump water uphill without fuel or electricity. In this video, instead of pumping water uphill, I'm just going to show that the pump can be started by siphon. So let's head over here to the testing grounds and I'll show you how this works. The first test is going to be straight siphoning from a source such as this bucket. Now if you had a small pond, I'll show you how that would work here in a moment. This is just proof of concept. So basically, the water will be in this bucket. It will siphon up and out, head down the drive pipe, which is a little less than 20 feet, not optimal. And then it will go to the pump down here. I'm gonna have the delivery side closed. So it's not pumping uphill, but it will still cycle to show that it is going from a siphon. Step number one is to have a water source. I actually have a ram pump in my creek down over here that brings water way up my hill way past the house and then brings it back down to this garden hose and so I'm actually able to fill this without having to use well water or city water basically I just want to demonstrate so I'm going to fill this up above the intake pipe there a little bit more ought to do it Okay, as you can see, there's a couple inches of water. And so now, step number two in starting a siphon like this is to close off this lower end. Okay, that end is now closed off. Now traditionally in a siphon, you would like to keep this end open. You'd go to the lower end and pull water through, whether it's from uh, just sucking in from your lungs or some other method. But if you were, say, pumping over a large dam, then that would be very impractical. So you have to fill it from the top. So I'm gonna open this valve here, and once again, use my hose. You could use a bucket or whatever you have available to you. And I'm just going to fill this. I guess I should note that you also have to close at the pump to keep the water from just coming out here okay now there are a couple reasons that you have to fill from the very top here the ram pump requires there to be no air bubbles in the system if there are air bubbles it's not going to work and so by filling here at the very top you can ensure no air Okay, and the water is now all the way to the top so that it flows out here. I'm gonna go ahead and close this valve off. Now, one thing that might really help you is to add an extension pipe here so that when this closes, uh, so it would come up from this piece here. So all of this pipe would be filled with water to ensure that there is absolutely no air stuck below this piece. Okay, with this closed, I'm now able to pull the cap off of this pipe. Okay, our siphon is essentially already primed and started. Now if I come down here, I can open the delivery pipe valve. Now, because the pressure tank is empty, it's gonna take a moment or two of tapping this to get it started. Once pressure has built up in the tank, it will begin to operate on its own. As you can see, the siphon has started and water is being pulled up from the bottom of the bucket, over the top and down to the pump. Now, of course, once it reaches this point, it'll gulp air and it will stop the pump. Okay, and now the pump is essentially stopped. Now to show you that it is working, I'm gonna turn this valve and you'll see a large gush of water here. There we go. I know you're thinking, 
that's all cool that it will siphon right out of a bucket here. But what if you have a dam that is, say, uh, 20 feet long and you have to pull over that dam, cross a certain distance, and then down to a pump? Let's show that by going from the bucket up over my playhouse base and then back down to the pump. That will demonstrate a more uh, realistic dam size there. While I set up this next example, if you would take a moment to hit the thumbs up button and be sure to subscribe if you like ram pumps. Now, if you want to test out one of these pumps for your very own, I have four different sizes available at landahouse.com. Okay, let's get back to our testing. Okay, here's the setup over a makeshift dam. Of course, we have our water source, which would be on the water side of the dam. Pipe just goes in a couple inches, comes up, and you'll notice that it goes over this board, which is about six foot off the ground, and it continually goes up until it reaches the highest point right here, and then it slides back down the drive pipe to the pump. Now, of course, this is not an ideal setup because there's a 90 here, and then a couple of weird stuff going on over here. You'd want this to be as straight and as flat as possible. So you'd even want to use a Y connector up here instead of what I've got as a 90. So to begin, let's go ahead and close the delivery pipe, the drive pipe. Let's go over here and cap this end. I'm gonna set a cap on there. Okay, and now I need to use the garden hose to fill this tall standpipe that I have up above here. So first, I will need to open this valve. I do want to mention again that it's important to fill from the highest point. If there are any higher dips in your uh, drive pipe, it'll make this part difficult. I'm just going to sit here until the whole thing is full. Now I want to close this valve, just like we did with the smaller example. Go over here, open up the cap. Okay, now head over here, and hopefully we'll have a siphon going. I'm going to hold this open for a bit, let some water pull through. Didn't quite get it. Okay, let's try this again. I think I may have a slight air leak right up there, but we should still be able to get it done. If I open this first, and then come over here and pull this, it should do a whole lot better. I'm hearing an air leak here. All right, that should do it. Oh yeah. Now we got the pressure. So anyway, now that this thing is full of water, I can hold this valve open and let it pull that siphon. And we should be good to go. Okay, good news. The siphon, it has been started. Now you just have to hold it open to get all the air bubbles out of that pipe. Air bubbles in a ram pump will definitely cause some issues. Definitely some huge inefficiencies with this jumping pipe. But as you can see, it's running now. So this video is just a proof of concept to show you that yes, you can siphon out of a pond or even just a bucket here to get the ram pump going. Now you'd want to make sure all of your joints are glued nice and tight and there's no bounce in the line. This is obviously losing a whole lot of pressure um, or potential. Also, there's uh, the 90s reduce the pressure wave significantly. But um, as you can see, it does siphon up 
and over to operate the pump. Now that being said, it is much easier just to use the uh, source from something like this at the bottom. Thank you so much for watching this video. If you would remember to hit that thumbs up, it helps my YouTube growth. And also subscribe if you like ram pump videos. And uh, like I said before, if you want to try out a pump of your very own, you can head to landahouse.com or Amazon, link in the description, to buy your own pump. Thanks for watching, and I will see you in the next video. Bye.